Um, it's one of our resort parks with a wide range of accommodations. We've got a 75 room hotel, got 10 cottages. We got cabins over there by the dam, boat rentals, golf course, you name it. It's up here at Joe Wheeler. It was also listed one of the top bass fishing locations in the state. For people who are heading out for the very first time who've never been there, what can they expect? Well, they can expect to find uh, plenty of places to fish, that's for sure. The, the river uh, here um, near Joe Wheeler State Park um, is, we've got plenty of plate. There's uh, over 2,500 acres in our park. Um, and if you stayed in our, in our park, you could stay and fish on Wheeler Lake or on Wilson Lake. There's two different types of fishing you could do. Now, I know a tornado devastated one of those parks. What are things looking like now? Have things changed? Have you been able to renovate that area? Yeah, that was uh, 2019. Everything's uh, back up to normal now. Our campground, our picnic area was hit pretty hard, but we have uh, brand new campsites with uh, lakeside views. We have uh, the day use area. It's got a brand new beach pavilion and some renovations uh, with some of our other pavilions there. So it's ready to go and, there's, and uh, it's all been taken care of. We have so many beautiful state parks here in our state, including one overlooking Huntsville. What can people do there? Well, Montesano's main attraction is its trails. Now, Montesano State Park is a little over 2,000 acres. It's on top of uh, the mountain in the heart of Huntsville. Um, but their main attraction is trails. They'll lead you all over the mountain. You'll find some incredible, incredible views in some very scenic areas. There's a disc golf course. There's a nap, there's a uh, Japanese uh, garden there, by the way. Picnic area, playgrounds, and you know, with it being so close to Huntsville, there's plenty of local attractions there as well. I know there was millions of dollars in funding thanks to voters that went to a lot of our state parks for people who maybe make it a summer trip and they're going back for the first time this year. Will they expect to see some changes at some of the parks? Well, some changes have already been done. Um, there, our new beach pavilion was a, was part of that uh, project. Some of those are ongoing right now. For example, Montesano State Parks, those cabins was built in the 1930s and they're currently getting a facelift, facelift uh, due to those funds. Uh, Joe, Joe Wheeler State Park um, over here, we're about to start a renovation on some of our uh, hotel rooms doing some updates to doors and windows and things that just needs to be done. Um, so you can expect uh, some construction going on, but it's not going to be, uh, it's not going to hinder your uh, experience in any of our parks. How can people make reservations at our state parks for the summer months? I know summer is already here. Are you booked up at some of the different locations? Well, some parts are booked up, but if you went online to our website, which is alapark.com, you can go there. You can plan your adventure online. You'll find Joe Wheeler State Park and Montesano State Parks there, and you can make a reservation for all sorts of different accommodations and whatever is the best fit for you. You'll also find our uh, a program registration. So at many of these parks, you can only, you can make a reservation for your hotel room or your cabin or your campsite, or you can make a tea time online, and you can uh, sign up for some of our uh, fun or in educational programs. All right, Chad. Thanks right, so much Chad. for joining us here in Alabama Live. We appreciate it. Appreciate it. Oh, thank you.